Hello! So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a book review. I'm going to be reviewing this book. It's called You Don't Want to Know by Lisa Jackson. This book is really good. I bought it like a month ago and I read it. I finished reading it like a week or two ago and it was amazing. Um, so a lot of stuff happened in this book. So I'm going to be like going back and forth like from the telling you what happened in the beginning, the middle, and the end. Because there's a lot of stuff that happens that sometimes it's hard to keep them in the right order. But um, this book starts out with the main character. Her name is Ava. Now Ava's son went missing about two years ago. And they don't know what happened to him. But the official story is that he drowned. Because they live on an island. So that's the official story that he drowned. But Ava doesn't believe that at all. Um, but everyone, no one believes Ava when she says her son's so alive because they think she's crazy. Because after Noah went missing, um, she kind of had some mental problems where she was in a mental hospital because she tried to commit suicide. Um, but yeah, and she's like hallucinating. She thinks she sees him. She thinks she hears his voice and all that. But everyone thinks she's crazy. Even her husband, Wyatt, thinks she's crazy. Um, and her best friend, Chloe, thinks she's crazy. Everyone thinks she's crazy, so no one believes her. But then, um, eventually, there's someone else um, on the island. His name is, I think his name is Dern. Um, and he believes her. Um... But we eventually find out that her husband hired him to kind of be like her bodyguard, keep track of her because Ava does crazy things and she thinks her son's alive. But Ava kind of has an attraction to Dern. Um, and he, the attraction is not one-sided. It's both-sided. They both feel it. So, yeah. Um, yeah, and as the story progresses, we find out that um, so Ava... Ava is not going crazy. Someone's setting her up. Someone put these voice recorders near Ava's room so she, it would be like she heard Noah. It would be like she heard her son. Um, and then she sets up cameras to try to find out who did it. And she finds out that Joel Ann is the one who set her up. Joel Ann is Ava's cousin who hates her because Joel Ann um, is pa basically paralyzed from the waist down. She can't walk. Um, because they were in a boating accident about, I think it was four years ago. Um, and the boating accident killed Ava's brother. And it made Julian paralyzed. So Julian wanted to get Ava back because she hates her. Then we also find out that um, Ava's son Noah isn't actually her son. She was pregnant, but the baby died. Um, she miscarried when she was in the boating accident. Um, yeah, but the baby's birth mother, um, Noah's birth mother, was Julianne, because Julianne was also pregnant. But Ava has some memory problems, so she didn't know that. So, Ava didn't know that Julianne was Noah's birth mother. Um, so we find that out. Then we also find out, we are also trying to find out, like, who was their birth father. We thought it was this serial killer who killed women um i forget his name okay so i'm just gonna call him the killer because i forget his name um but yeah he um was in a mental hospital because they deemed him like critical like insane or something um whatever you call it but yeah he killed his apparently killed his wife and his um wife's best friend but apparently Julianne thought they were in love or whatever, but they never they were never actually together. We find out that Noah's birth father was actually Wyatt. Because Ava's husband um cheated on her multiple times and Julianne was one of the people. Apparently. So yeah, Wyatt was actually Noah's father. Um, but yeah. So that happened. Then you know how I told you about the killer in the book? Um we also find out that the killer was Dern's um, half-brother, who he's never met. So there's that, too, I should probably mention. There's also another killer in this book. Someone's been killing women. Someone killed Ava's um, hypnosis. You know, people make her hypnotized or whatever. And they also killed her therapist. So, yeah. Then I'm going to tell you what happened at the end of the book. 
um, we find out that the killers were actually Chloe and Wyatt. Chloe and Wyatt worked together, having an affair also. So, yeah. And they were also wanted to make Ava think she's crazy, too. So, yeah. Luckily, they are no longer around. They got what was coming to them. Then, Dern and Ava are also together by the end of the book. And then we find out Ava was right. Her son's actually still alive. Apparently, Julianne and Wyatt both kidnapped um, Noah and gave them to another couple who wanted to have a kid or something like that. Um, something to that effect. And they found Noah, and Noah has a different name. He doesn't remember Ava at all, but they still bring him back home to Ava. So yeah, that's basically how the books ends with Noah happy with Dern and her son returned to her. So it had kind of a happy ending, luckily. But yeah, that is what has happened in this book. There's a lot more has happened. Um, this book was pretty long, so a lot more has happened. But um, it would take forever for me to tell you every single thing that happened in this book. So yeah, um, thank you all for watching, and remember to subscribe to my channel.